Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. You know, I'm going to take my glasses off for this one. I'm taking my glasses off on this one because this one is something that I really wanted to talk to you about. It, it, and it's like all of the videos I really want to talk to you about. And, you know, being that I come from uh, being a college dropout, a teenage parent and things like that, but I was able to work my way uh, for over almost 20 years in the corporate world, but I always had that entrepreneur mindset. In the midst of working in the corporate world and all of these other areas, I still had my own gigs on the side. I still had that entrepreneur mindset. I still started companies. Now, they weren't million-dollar companies, and some of them brought money. Some of them didn't. But that spirit that was within me maintained on. So what I wanted to bring to you is just a couple of steps to help you make those changes in your life. If you want to start a business, just think of a couple of steps that I have, you know, for you. One is to have an idea. Find out if the idea works. Whatever your idea is, find out if it works. Practice it. Study it. You know, figure it out. Because that's one of the biggest problems that we have. It's a lack of idea. So many people think that it's because of a lack of money. It's not a lack of money. They print money all the time. Money is everywhere. Millionaires continue to be millionaires to work their way up to become billionaires, and billionaires do the same thing. If it's money that you're working for, change your mindset to think like a millionaire and do all of the things that's required that millionaires do. Use them as an example. Pick up a book and read what millionaires do and follow the steps that they've given to you and abide by them. And eventually, everything will take place. If you do it, if you really, really want to do it. So it's really the idea. It's not money. It's not other factors. It's the idea. It's the lack of ideas that people have. If you had a strong idea, that strong idea can lead you to bring in money. So better yourself when it comes to the ideas. Really, really better. Curiosity. And I heard this from Jim Rohn. Curiosity, and he made it very clear to say a childish curiosity. And that's one of the things that I, uh, when I talk to people on a regular basis, being that I'm the chair of, uh, of the uh, school board, is our children have questions. Our parents can't answer those questions. So what we do is we tell the child to stop asking. Be quiet. Shut up. I don't know. In today's modern technology, when you can go to a computer and turn on the internet and Google or YouTube or use some type of social media, you can find out the answer to almost every question that there is or at least get close to it to satisfy that childish curiosity. Children can ask you questions on top of questions because they want to know. It's the parents, it's the environment to a certain extent that diffuses that childish curiosity and it causes the child to dumb down, to stop wanting to ask the question. See, in certain communities, it's called being inquisitive. It's called being, you know, investigative. But in also in some con co uh, communities, it's called being nosy. It's a negative connotation that's added to it when you're curious and you just want to know. You want to learn. Who doesn't want to see that light bulb come above a child's head, an adult's head? So those are two things right there that I think that are really imperative when it comes to making change. Ideas, come with a reputable idea that works for you. And B, have that childish curiosity. And then start reading. Start looking around. Start learning and add that and ingrain it and work on it. I'm going to cut it right here. I don't know if you're ready for this. Thomas Amal Conversation Corner. Click the link below. See you in Seattle in a couple of days, a couple of weeks. And see you all across the United States and all around the world and all of the beaches so we can have some big fun. Click the link below. Come on, remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. Talk to you soon. Peace.